Well, hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Red Little Healing. Cafe Grumpy. It's like one of my favorite coffee companies, cafes in New York. So this video is <laughs> in honor. I'm already starting it off messy. <laughs> of uh, the world's favorite New Yorker right now, Andrew Cuomo. So... Cuomo's been coming under the pepper lately. There's been a lot of allegations against him um, for anywhere from sexual assault to just being a general jackass. So I just want to do a quick energy reading. Just want to look at his chakras. Um, I have this inclination last year. I don't know why, no why. When everybody was like, oh, Cuomo's great. Cuomo's great. I was like, well, he's working hard to be responsive in a time where our Senior, senior leadership at the highest form is not being responsive. That's what he's supposed to do. He's being, you know, a leader. But does that always make that a, a person a great person? They're being a, a leader at the moment, but that doesn't always mean that they're a saint. And I also have, you know friends and family in New York who are like, yeah, he's a butthole, can't stand him. So I just had to listen to their words and kept that in my mind while the world was praising him for his COVID response. Well, now things are coming out that, yeah, my New York friends are right. He is, a, he can be a butthole. Now, again, all of these are allegations. Um, we're going to go ahead and this until proven guilty, I guess, but it's not looking good. So let's look at his energetic body. Let's see what the chakras say. The chakras confirm that, yeah, he may be a little bit of a doucheberry. Or, you know what, at, bare, at best case scenario, he's human. <laughs> best case scenario. I'm being so messy. He's human just like the rest of us. He may. Have, so let's just see what the chakras say. So first card we get is forgiveness, heart chakra. So there is some, some balancing that needs to be done in his, in his realm of forgiveness. The thing about grief, forgiveness, and the heart chakra is it, it sits there, it lives there, it clouds. It makes it very difficult to be able to give and receive love openly because there is that grief kind of surrounds that area and calcifies it. Um, so that is why I always say to everyone, forgive. That's why they say forgiveness isn't for the other person. It is for you. That is absolutely true. It helps to break that membrane around your, your heart chakra. It doesn't calcify. So you can open that vessel to be able to give and receive love a little bit more openly. It's very hard to do that when you can't forgive because forgiveness means grief. Grief can help block. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is uh, your house of pleasure. It's your house of emotions. It's your house of uh, pro reproductive reproduction. Actually, having children. It's also a house of creativity. Um, is what we're getting for his sacral chakra card is actually creativity. So, what does that mean in the in the spectrum of his chakra system? Um. This is what I'm hearing. He uses his creativity sometimes, uh, or how do I want to put this? This isn't a person who necessarily may or may not go sit and paint like George Bush did after he retired. <laughs> That's not necessarily maybe how he uses his creativity. His creativity may be job related where he's thinking of creative solutions for a problem. Could be that he, that let's, let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. His creativity is always to, is trying to incubate new processes and ideas for solutions. Hold that thought because let's, let's see how the rest of this plays out. Okay. He does have issues with personal power with his uh, solar plexus chakra. Your house of solar, your solar plexus chakra is your house of fire. It's your house of action, your house of doing. He actually has the personal power card. So personal power means you have a hard time exerting a nice balanced um, reaction to things. So what I'd say about your solar plexus chakra is an overcharged solar plexus chakra means you are going to be super hella aggressive. An undercharged solar plexus chakra means you're going to be what some people would call a pushover, meek. 
Um, but a nice balanced solar plexus chakra means you're assertive. You act when you need to act. You're not a bully. You do what you need to do and you keep it moving. There's no drama. There's no fuss. There's no mess. You just take, you have a lot of personal accountability and responsibility. This is showing that, yeah, he may tend to exert personal power on the side that can maybe be undercharged where he may be uh, under in some ways where he needs to be more assertive and sometimes he can be more aggressive, but it's about particularly personal power, how he exerts his self, his things, needs, ideas, beliefs into the universe. Uh, holistic health um, with the root chakra. So this is also about... Um, I wonder if there's some underlying health issues in his life that he may need to seek more or there's maybe something he's taking a medication for that he may need to incorporate more earthly medicine, more mama earth medicine, using more acupuncture, Reiki, another form of healing to help balance out whatever physical ailment. Because usually with whole, because that can also, prescription pills, even the most benign can also, it impacts your body and it can have you have reactions in ways. So I wonder if that's what that's telling us. But he gets life purpose, throat chakra. Does he speak and listen to divine truth? that aligns to, um, he's got pretty much all the chakras. That's so fascinating. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> to uh, his divine, to divine truth, life purpose. So let's listen closely to what he says and how he says it in these next continuing couple weeks, months, because he did say that he never said, he, you know, about the wedding and about kissing. He So this is a person who, like I said, with that creativity card, he's creative in finding solutions to problems. That's how he uses his creativity. He's not going to be the master painter. Also not necessarily the master manipulator. He just, that's how his brain functions. I'm going to be creative to find ways out of problems, which is how he got got elected. You want somebody who doesn't do the status quo, who takes it to the next level, who pushes to find creative ways to build a city, to build a community. That's great in a lot of aspects, but it also can be a little tricky sometimes, depending on how it's used. So does he speak life purpose? Does he speak divine truth? These are going to be connected because he's going to find creative ways to kind of say what he needs to say to get himself in and out of trouble is what I wasn't trying to say, but I'm going to go ahead and just say it. All right. Visualization. Um, third eye chakra. Your third eye is um, your house of psychic ability. I love how these two are connected because normally if you have an imbalance in your solar plexus chakra, which is also your house of intuition in a way. That's why people say you have a gut feeling. You're also going to have a little bit of an issue with your third eye. What's this is telling me with visualization and it being across from a personal power is that he struggles with visualizing, seeing the big picture. And because he has a hard time seeing the big picture, that causes him to, I want to have it my way. This has to go the way I say, instead of taking that step back and going, oh, that A plus B plus C plus D is going to equal E. Okay, I may need to sit back on this one. Or maybe I need to, instead of inserting myself and forcing it to happen, I need to go hang out with JK P to help them get ready for when everything starts to cascade, cascade down that way. Oh, and then another third eye chakra. Um, we didn't get the crown chakra. That's hilarious. So he um, got all the other chakras, but the crown chakra. Psychic development. That makes a lot of sense because if you have a hard time with visualization, you're going to have a hard time with psychic development. Being able to, to tap in and to use that third eye to for your good and when you need to use it. So, yep, that's that doesn't surprise me. So... 
needs to work on forgiveness so he can open that heart chakra so he can give and receive love a little bit more fluidly. His creativity is used to help get to work with creative solutions to problems is how I'm going to phrase it. Um, he may not hurt, however, to pick up a paintbrush and start painting. Use another way to tap into that creativity or start tap dancing. That would help too. Do see some issues with personal power in his solar plexus chakra. Maybe a little aggressive in ways. Maybe a little too passive in ways. He needs to find that balance so he can be more assertive. Holistic health. There may be something going on in his physical health where he could benefit from uh, more naturalistic healing. Or he may already be a proponent of it and is already doing it. We don't know. No, I don't know him like that. Life purpose, throat chakra, listening and speaking to divine truth. What you say can and will set you free. Um, and then third eye chakra, his psychic development and his ability to visualize things. He cannot, he needs to really work on his psychic ability because if you can foresee it coming, you don't have to be so aggressive. You don't have to, or you don't have to be scared and be meek. You can use your psychic abilities, tap in, walk into a room and size it up psychically, spiritually to know at bare minimum the energy because we all have gut instincts. It's just, do we use it and tap into it? All right, Cuomo, where's my coffee cup? Let me go ahead and end with a sip from Cafe Grumpy, or at least my Cafe Grumpy cup. Till the next video, guys. Cheers. Bye.